Hey again, everyone. Welcome back here to Marine Max in Pompano Beach. My name is Chris Wenstrom, and today we're going to be touring a brand new Sea Ray 370 Sundancer, one of the most popular boats on the water right now, and especially now that I can maintain my outboard power with a boat of this size. So a couple different power options for this boat. This one we powered with triple Mercury 300 Verado outboards. And one thing the series done very well is maintain a walkable transom with my outboard power. So you can see I do have my Sea Deck non-skid material that runs the entirety of this boat. And they do maintain a really unique cross stitch with the uh, pattern that runs throughout the boat, which we'll see here momentarily, but a very usable space back here and a great power package for this boat. So why don't you come on board and we'll take a look at some of the features on this 370 Sundancer. Here inside the main cockpit, as you can see, tremendous amount of seating inside and some of the details in the flooring that I had mentioned earlier, you can now see start to run through some of the fabric, some of the non-skid on the gunnels, as well as this beautiful skylight, which also has that same pattern running throughout. So it's nice and tinted, so it doesn't cure, you know, you're not blasting with heat, but it does give me a little bit more fit and finish detail that Sea Ray is definitely known for. As we work away, I just wanted to note a really cool feature they did on this aft seat is they actually have a deployable uh, function to be able to allow you to actually face aft on this boat. So if you see here on the side of the seat, I do have two handles. Pull on the first handle, allows this backrest to come down. Pull on the second handle, and allows the seat to actually turn into your backrest. So a really cool idea, two-way observer seat, watch the kids swim in the water, or just have a different vantage point to be able to see what's going on here on the back of the boat. A couple more pulls with these handles, and it pops right back into place. And what's nice too is, as you can see, these seats are in the sun right now, but with the retractable sunshade, I can shade all of my seating back here for those hot days here in the Florida sun. Tons of storage underneath all of these seats, and we'll go ahead and work our way to our summer kitchen. As you can see, just a beautiful Corian countertop, great serving station. Under this lid, we do see our Kenyan electric cooktop grill. Below that is going to be our refrigeration beverage holders throughout. I also do have a sink on board as well, and the lid does have dedicated storage. Underneath here, we do have a dedicated trash receptacle. That's also where my lid will store for my sink top, and then additional storage here as well. So no shortage of uses of space, great use of uh, all your usable space on this boat. And again, I love this flooring with that non-skid material to be able to give you a little bit more traction. Working our way up to the helm here, a extremely wide, double wide seat. A lot of the stitching does complement, as you can see, some of the other seats on board. So a nice theme working our way through the 370. And I just absolutely love the helm. It's all wonderfully laid out, tons of black acrylic, a nice sharp look to it with my Simrad screens flush mounted right up against Fusion Bluetooth stereo. Also, as you can see, flush mounted. All of my switches are backlit by LEDs, so you can see when they're illuminated what is active. And as, as far as usability, as you can see, a very comfortable steering wheel. If I am going to be standing and driving, I do have my digital throttles right here next to me and my joystick just behind. So if you're going to be backing into a slip, I actually have a great vantage point to be able to see behind the boat, use the joystick to get the boat in position. And then this joystick also does come with your sky hook and auto heading functions as well. VHF mounted radio or radio mounted right there as well. But again, just beautiful fit and finish, as you can see, kind of the way that your cup holders contour in with that same wood grain look. I've got a two-step observer station as well, so depending on how I'm operating the boat, I can have my feet at different levels. And then tons of air conditioning in here. This cockpit will get nice and icy cool with the AC on. I have an additional double-wide observer seat here on the port side, and both of these seats will have a flip-up bolster if I wanted to have a little bit elevated view of what's going on here in front of me. I do have a step as well, which deploys down if I don't want to use it. So it gives me a little bit better walkway access here up into the bow. But again, just an unbelievable amount of visibility that you have with this nice single pane piece of glass for your windshield. Great visibility around the sides of the boat. And the nice feature with the 370 is if I don't want to have the full glass feeling and I wanted to have a little bit more natural air that came through, I do have an optional Isinglass enclosure that'll actually remove if I wanted to have more airflow through here. This forward tinted glass is actually a retractable sunroof, so I can actually open this boat up even more if I want. And I also have a wind vent to really let some natural air breeze through, hit up against the support beam and really allow air to flow to move through this cabin. We'll get and work our way up to the bow. Big oversized windshield locked in place right now, but supported by two gas assist struts, a slight elevation as I walk up into the bow. 
Nice feature too is they did install a drain right here. So if I did catch a storm and I had the bow getting wet and the water starts to work its way backwards, it'll all drain in here without moving into the main cockpit and getting your feet or any of your equipment wet for the day. Safety stainless steel grab rail as I work my way forward. Easy access to my ground tackle. This boat optioned with a spotlight. But as you can see, probably the best seat in the house is this forward bow seating arrangement. I've got tons of cup holders, tons of usable space. I have an additional filler cushion that can plug up here in the bow so I can have a full sun pad and allow multiple people to use this space functionally without feeling too tight or crowded. So let's go ahead and go head downstairs. And we'll take a look at the cabin. Continuing on here down below in the cabin of the 370 Sundancer, as you can see, a tremendous amount of room down here below. At my height, no shortage of space. I feel very open down here. I don't feel claustrophobic. And uh, this does sleep four people comfortably. We went ahead and deployed our forward V-berth into its bed. And so you can see there's uh, plenty of room for two adults to sleep here comfortably. Beautiful natural lighting throughout and a very comfortable place to be able to relax if you are going to be doing some overnighting. Underneath all of these backrests is going to be different uh, panels. This one here is going to be your distribution panel with your Sea Keeper head unit. Additional storage underneath these two, as you can see. But with the bed deployed away, it actually gives me a nice wraparound seat for guests to be able to sit back here, maybe have a meal overnight, and uh, have a comfortable place to actually sit and entertain with your guests as well. I do have a beautiful Samsung flat screen TV, hanging closet. And then all of the inside here is all covered in this noise deadening material to uh, knock some of the vibration down from outside and keep this nice and quiet here when we are going to be doing some sleeping. Beautiful summer kitchen here down below with a sink, storage underneath, microwave, additional refrigeration, and an additional pull out trash receptacle as well. Beautifully fit and finished, nice skylight to allow more lateral night to move through here. And then in here we see our head with separate shower. Nice tile backsplash there, and more natural light that comes in here as well. And then underneath our staircase is where we see our observer seats to uh, have more guests down below. That'll also convert into a berth to allow four people to sleep down here comfortably. We'd love for you to come by and take a look at this boat in person with one of our sales professionals. If you have any questions or you'd like to come by, feel free to contact us here at Marine Max in Pompano. Again, my name is Chris Wenstrom. You can contact me on my cell phone at 727-460-4175. Thank you.